So I saw the trailer for this uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl game that's coming out, and I actually wanted to record a reaction to this whole thing. Uh, but I found out that I wasn't recording the entire time. But it's still worth talking about this game after seeing the trailer, because there's so much potential with the idea of a Smash Brothers clone with Nickelodeon characters. I mean, people, they love it a lot. Uh, Nickelo or Cartoon Network had its chance, and it didn't really go all that well, but I don't remember too many uh, Nickelodeon Smash clones like this. Um, so I'm curious, from what I've heard, it's already been announced that it has rollback netcode, um, wave dashing is a mechanic in the game, so it sounds like they're trying to be, they're trying to be as close to competitive Smash Brothers nowadays, but still keeping the nostalgia of all the characters that we remember throughout the 90s to modern day, including Loud House characters, and I guess Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I mean, they haven't really been Nickelodeon characters for that long. But so far, the starting roster that we've gotten is pretty interesting. We've gotten a wide range of characters across different franchises. Uh, TMNT, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Spongebob. We've already got three reps from Spongebob, and I bet you we're probably going to get some more. The gameplay looks fun and interesting. I mean, we haven't really seen what kind of items there are, and I don't think... Until we see a proper breakdown for all these characters, uh, I don't want to say something definite about my opinions on the gameplay. I feel like this trailer goes by a little too fast. That's why I'm playing it at a slower speed. Because you can only get, like, snippets of, this move might be pretty good. This character has some interesting mechanics. We're not seeing too much with the trailer, but it is a good first impression. And I do like that it's getting people talking about this idea. But I also wanted to talk about the potential for other characters coming out. Naturally, we're going to have predictions lists. We're going to have people making videos requesting, I want this character from this other franchise. Uh, one character that comes to mind if I wanted to get the ball rolling is uh, XJ9 from My Life as a Teenage Robot. That series is full of action, and Jenny has so many different power-ups and abilities that she uses in the show that it's just perfect material for a fighting game. But I'm also open to hearing suggestions that other people have. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what character you would want to see. I don't really do the social media thing all that much, so I'm just starting out. Um, But yeah, characters that would be fun and exciting to see. I'm actually honestly surprised that we got a Ren and Stimpy representative through Powdered Toast Man. Uh, I think Ren and Stimpy could be a good pick as well. I mean, they're icons as far as 90s Nickelodeon is concerned. As I would be opposed to seeing more SpongeBob reps, because I feel like we've already got the potential for more characters when we already have three, like... Out of all the other franchises in this trailer, Spongebob is the one that got the most reps. Even though TMNT has four possible characters that you could have included, but we've only got half the TMNT so far. It, it feels like the roster can easily skew towards the Spongebob side. But that being said, it's just because those characters are so beloved and there's so much potential for attacks. Squidward is the first one that comes to mind. Like, Squidward would probably be pretty top tier if he has some really good range on those tentacles. Uh, Mr. Krabs is another character that comes to mind. Just off the top of my head, you know, maybe he has some kind of mechanic where he collects money off of characters he's beating up, and if he collects enough money, he can power up an attack, like a big smash attack that does more damage the more money that you have, or it has better a better hitbox if it has more money. That would be interesting. Aang and Korra. Avatar The Last Airbender is, has the most potential for characters because every character is a fighter in that series. So Aang, Katara, Zuko. So many characters from that cast is just a character waiting to happen. If they don't become DLC, if this becomes successful enough to get a sequel, we will be seeing a ton of Avatar characters. So if I was to narrow it down, 
down to just two reps. Let's stick with just two reps right now because any more than three feels like it's overboard. If I... Aang, I feel like we have to go with Aang just because he's the most iconic character of the series, which means my second pick, if I'm going to be honest, I'd really like to see Zuko. I feel like he's probably the second most popular character of the show because of his arc, which is a really good character arc. Uh, he has a lot of potential with his firebending. Um... For a good majority of the show, he was Aang's rival. If we're giving character stages, I think Aang, or yeah, Aang and Zuko fighting in like the Fire Lord's chamber or something like that would be really interesting. Uh, I mean, every other character has the potential to show up in this game. You know, I could see Toph with a good move set. I could see Katara with a good move set. Invader Zim, I'm actually really excited to see. I think out of all the picks, uh, I'm happiest to see Zim getting some love. Dib would be a good alternative, I think, if there's any other Invader Zim rep to include. I'm assuming that Gur's not going to be in the cast because Zim is using Gur as some kind of assist or projectile. Dib would make the most sense. Uh, I think you could probably strum up a moveset for Gaz or Professor Membrane, because uh, I think they did a lot more action stuff in the Enter the Florpus movie, especially, yeah, if you're pulling uh, Florpus inspiration for Gaz... There's a pretty good move set with the ham stuff. One poll that I remember that I would honestly be surprised if they do, El Tigre is a show that I vaguely remember Nickelodeon doing. And you'll often see get represented in Nicktoons tier lists. So I would love to see, because I don't think El Tigre was that successful. Uh, I would need to look and see just how popular or how beloved that show was. Let me know in the comments. Do you remember El Tigre? If so, name three other characters other than El Tigre. And you can let me know if those characters... Fanboy and Chum Chum. That would be a weird pick. That's a show that I never really paid attention to, but... I mean, there could be some potential out of that. It's a deep pull, but I think people would respect that. Oh, Chalk Zone, man. Uh, Rudy would be interesting with all the chalk creations that he could make. Uh, Snap could be a something. I think, honestly, if you're going to pick one character from Chalk Zone, it would have to be Rudy. Tough Puppy? Eh, Tough Puppy's an option, but Timmy would have a pretty good moveset. Cosmo Wanda, either individually or together, would be pretty good. Crimson Chin? Crimson Chin would be great with Powder Toast Man. I guess if we're talking about Butch Hartman shows, uh, who else would be good for Danny Phantom? Tucker would be okay, I guess. Uh, Vlad would probably be the only other character that comes to mind. Oh, Skulker. Skulker would be great, too. Skulker, Technus... Uh, if they have some kind of assist trophy mechanic, Box Ghost would be a great assist trophy. You just have them show up, be annoying, say, I am the Max Ghost! And he just pieces out. Tack from Tack and the Power of Juju. That would actually be... I think that's... I think that's my top pick for character I would want to see. Or at least some kind of representation. Tack and the Power of Juju. I just... I just want Tack in there. Jimmy Neutron, that's another one that I'm kind of surprised... Didn't show up in this trailer at all. If I'm being honest, I think Jimmy would just be the only character I would want to see. I mean, as cool as seeing someone like Sheen or Carl would be, especially if Carl does any of the dumb meme stuff that he's known for, I honestly don't care to see any kind of moveset because they're just kids. They don't have... They've got their own episodes that they can pull from for potential movesets, but... I think Jimmy has the most potential for being a real character. I kind of feel the same way about Nigel. I think they're kind of pushing it, giving us Nigel Thornberry, just so that we have a Wild Thornberry's rep, I guess. Because we're not going to see Eliza. I doubt we're going to see someone like Darwin. Maybe Donnie. Donnie could be a good assist trophy. Yeah, I just don't see any other characters from the family other than Nigel Thornberry. Yeah, if you were to ask me who I think is going to be the top tier pick out of the roster so far, I think it's going to be Zim. Zim looks like he has a lot of potential, and he looks like he's going to have a lot of range, and he's probably going to be pretty fast. So I think he has the most potential for being the most used character in this roster, but we'll have to see when a demo comes out, I guess. But yeah, this was fun to do. If you liked watching this, then just like, you know, like, comment, subscribe. 
I'd really appreciate it if knowing if you'd watch more stuff like this. Yeah, good times. See you around.